Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and I am here to work on Grandpa's Easter basket. Um, unfortunately, in the room that I'm currently in, which is under construction, I tried to work out something the best I could. Um, I've never done a basket review or put anything together before, so this will be the first time. Um, so I just tried to set it up the best that I could, so bear with me. Um, what I did was this, everything that's going to be going in this basket is from Dollar Tree. Every single thing is from Dollar Tree. The first thing I did was I picked up one of the Voila shrink wraps with the pull bowl. And what you get is you get this pull bowl and then you get this plastic wrap. This is the type that you put your hair dryer to it and it shrinks it and I kind of like those. So the first thing I did was I took it out of the package and one thing you want to be really careful with is there's a lot of static in them and so you just want to separate the bag the best you can. Now the bag does have some writing on the back and I try to get that on the bottom of my basket or on the back of my basket. And usually before I start to do my basket, and this is just me, I take it and I just kind of turn it down. And then what I like to do is I like to get my basket in the plastic before I start to fill it. And that's just my personal preference. And then I'm just gonna kind of look around a little bit to see where I'm at measurement wise. And I know there's a lot of noise here. Unfortunately, I really can't avoid that. So I wanna to try to get my basket right in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna say that's pretty close to the middle. And then I'll just pull the paper down. Okay. And the reason for that is sometimes I'll build the baskets up depending on what type of basket I'm doing. Um, Grandpa pretty much is all about chocolate, 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 chocolate. <laughs> so, um, this is kind of going to be an easy one, but usually if I'm doing something, say, um, for a small child where I'm putting maybe coloring books and things like that, I will build the basket up all the way around so you can see something from every different direction. All right. So what I basically got, and I'm just here slopping around in some pajamas here, but... I picked, uh, and I don't even know if I'm gonna get all this in the bag or not, but Grandpa loves his Russell Stovers. So I've got these packs of Russell Stovers. I have some packs of Easter chocolate bars. I have three of the Double Crisp. I did one in every color. Because when I say I'm talking serious chocolate, um, I mean serious chocolate. I then purchased from the Dollar Tree three of the Whitman solid chocolate bars with the Snoopy on them. Um, his little bunny, because I thought, you know what? 81, it doesn't matter. You have to have an Easter bunny. I did get a couple package of Reese's eggs because he loves those as well. I picked up some hankies because Grandpa still uses hankies. And I thought he could be really fashionable while he's blowing his nose. And so I knew he would use those. I did get Grandpa a couple of the Solid Milk Chocolate Russell Stover Bunnies. Um, some green grass from the Dollar Tree. And the only thing that didn't come from the Dollar Tree is one of these bunnies that if you watch my haul from Walmart you saw that I got a couple of these in a package so I think I'm gonna I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the top of grandpa's basket yet so but I just kind of wanted to show you what I got going on and then the other day I did pick up one of these for his cigarette butts and some lighters but I don't know if I'm just gonna do that separate um so first I'm just gonna start with some Easter grass from Dollar Tree I think pretty much everything always sinks to the bottom anyways. So I just like to fluff it up as much as I can because it's in this big wad. But you gotta have your Easter grass in there. So obviously we're starting with an empty basket. 
And I know most of this grass is just going to get matted down with candy, but it's still, you know, you want it there because you have to have grass in your basket. All right. So there we've got the Easter grass. And I do want to keep the handle up for when I shrink wrap it. So we're going to start with that. Okay. So we've gotten our Easter grass out of the way. Then I think what I need to do is let's see what we have that's tall and stuff that is solid. Like these are solid. So there's some weight here. These are solid as well, but they're not as heavy. So I think we're going to start with, um, let's try something like this. Okay. So let me just see here. Sometimes I will start to put something together and then I pull it all back out and start over again. There's usually no rhyme or reason. You just try to make it look as nice as you possibly can. Um, this is going to be a basket where it'll be given to him and it's going to have more of a frontal view to hand it to him. I'm not so worried about the backside, um, only for the sheer fact that just grandpa loves so much chocolate that there'll be so much chocolate in here. I don't think I'm going to have a room for a backside. Um, so let me try to get these in here and obviously that's not going to work. So maybe I'll bump those to the side a little bit because I have two of them. And let me try a little something different with the bunnies. Okay, so as you can see, the grass is shifting. So like I said, sometimes you just have to play around a little bit till you get it right. It's never gonna be perfect because something always ends up moving at some point or time. But let's see if I can get these in here just a little bit better. And then we need to start working something on this end because obviously this side is getting very heavy and it's starting to lean. Okay, so since we've got quite a bit, I'm gonna tuck just a little more grass under there because I want some height. I um, don't want everything to be the same height. I like everything to kind of, you know, be up so you can see what's going on, but yet I also have to be concerned where my handles are. So. Once I put my handles up, I can see that that's going to help hold these Russell Stovers in. So that's going to cause me to rearrange these just a little bit differently because now I have my handles holding those up. And these bunnies will sit a little bit better once I have a chance to fill up some more things in there. So I have several of these bandanas and I thought... Well, I'm just going to leave, you know, and I'm just going to kind of roll them up. And I think I got four or five. Um, I was going to wrap them in tissue paper, but, you know, sometimes that's just a little bit much. And I'm just going to kind of tuck them in and out here. Let's see what I can come up with. Again, I am no pro at this. Um... Let's see what we have. Let's get another colored one. And I, I'm leaving the tags and everything on there. You know, we don't have to be. It's all about fun. Putting to get baskets together is fun. And I know how excited Grandpa gets when I give him baskets at Easter time. Um, he really likes that. So we have two more here we're going to put in here. And obviously this can be switched up, changed up. You can do anything you want. The reason I went with the bandanas is because I know grandpa loves his bandanas and he's old fashioned. He uses those as his handkerchiefs and he's always got one on them. And there's usually all one in, one in his car. So I just thought, well, you know what? At 81, there's not a whole heck of a lot and especially when he just says, oh my gosh, I want my chocolate, I want my chocolate. All right, so there is what we have there. Now, we have this, uh, I'm gonna open up some of these bags because obviously I can't fit them in their hole. So we're gonna spread out some of the milk chocolate like that. And then I got some of the coconut. 
and Grandpa loves everything. It doesn't matter if it's marshmallow, coconut, peanut butter. It doesn't matter. So I'm ending up with two bags of Russell Stover's in there. This thing is going to weigh a ton. So we're going to mix these up in here a little. And then we can get a little more height going on with these bunnies. Because I can put some more candy under there. And then, like I mentioned before, you're going to do some arranging. It's not always going to go right in. It depends on how much you end up adding and what you end up doing. Okay, so here's our bandanas. This is a big focal point here. We want to keep our handles. And then we have all kinds, and these all have all Easter themes. So that is quite nice. And then we have Grandpa's chocolate bars. So, let's see. I'm just going to kind of fill in here a little bit. Again, it's not going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. We're going to do that. We're going to stick that out just a little bit more. And then we have some of these chocolate bars. And these are actually... They're quite lovely. They're made in Poland, and um, they're wonderful chocolate bars. They always come out at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to place some of these, you know, here and there. Here and there and everywhere. I just know he's going to be so excited. He loves, loves his chocolate. Let me put another one in there. And then we still got to fit his bunny. I don't think the lighters and all that are going to make it in here. I think I'll just maybe put that in his car when he's not looking. And we're just going to place some of these around, you know. Easter baskets aren't meant to be perfect. All right, and then we have some of the Reese's eggs. And those we're just going to, you know, they're done in egg shapes, and then they have little Reese's on them. So what I'm going to do is just filter them through the basket. So there's a couple here and there. Put another package in there. Oh, he's just absolutely going to love this. All right. Now, we have another thing of chocolates, but I think we'll keep that out. And then I have the little bunny that I got, Grandpa. And I think we'll stick the bunny right there okay so now we're to that point what i'm gonna do i already have my hair dryer of course i have a purple hair dryer did you guys ever even question that for a second so what i'm gonna do is basically just get this handle a little bit more straight and then i'm gonna take the plastic so now it's gonna get loud so now i'm gonna pull my plastic off and over and what I do is I gather it up here because I'm going to end up cutting some of the top part off because it doesn't need to be quite this tall. So I know you can't see way up here, but after I cut this, I'm going to move my camera a little so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. In fact, maybe I'll adjust my camera right now. So bear with me. I'm just going to bring my camera back a little. Keeping it real. Okay, so now you may see a little bit more of the top of what I'm doing, but I will make it shorter. So I'm just gathering the basket. It's okay if you have extra here because that will shrink up. And then I'm just going to make it like about down to here. I'm going to cut some of this off right off the bat because I know I'm not going to need it that tall. So let me just get rid of this right off the bat. So I don't need that. And so here we're at. Now, this is the bow that comes with it. And I'm just going to, normally I don't use this. I just do ribbons myself. But I want you to see what you get in the bag. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a bow like this. And what you're going to do is open it up and you're going to see two small ribbons. You're going to pull them 
separate, but do it very slowly. And as you do that, as you're pulling both at the same time, you are going to see a bow form right before your eyes. Okay, so this again is the one that comes with the package from Dollar Tree. And it's a nice bow, but I'm, you know, I just like to add some more colors. So here's what it ends up looking like, which is very pretty. They only ever give you a white one. There's never any other colors. So once you have the strings pulled, then what I do is I gather my paper and I'll find, you know, make those trims final. And then I'm gonna wrap my ribbon around here. Let's see. Yeah, that's good, Beth. <laughs> I'm trying to do this within camera shot because I'm not sure how well you're all being able to see this. Um, hopefully I will get better at this as time goes by. Um, doing it in front of all of you anyway. So basically what I'm gonna do is get myself an idea and then I'll adjust this of how far down I wanna tie the bow. But so let me just adjust it a little bit so it's easier for me to show all of you what I'm doing here. Cause I'm making it look much harder than it is at this given moment. It's really not this hard. Okay, it's just hard to do it with one hand. All right, so let me bring it down a little bit further. go down just a little bit more because I do like to have a little push at the top and when I when I say that I'm talking about up here which I will then trim I'm just going to turn this basket around for just a moment because I am having a difficult time tying it okay so you're going to want to tie it nice and tight and obviously you want to make sure that you have all the items in the basket the way you want them before you seal it off. Because once you tie it, you're not going to really want to be able to get back in there without cutting everything apart. And once you dry it and then it's sealed, you're definitely would only be able to get in there is by ruining it and doing it all over again. So then what I do is I just tie this in the back with a little bit of a bow. Not a big deal. It's just something, you know, for right now, I end up cutting these off. These will all get adjusted as well. So now I'm going to turn it around and just have a peek at it. You know, I kind of mess with the bow a little bit. I don't usually do that, but that can happen. If it does, it's not the end of the world. We just peel it down and look, it looks like it never even happened. All right, so I have it in the middle and I think I like it the way it is. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna use our hair dryer. You don't want to hit it on super, super high or real hot because it will melt the plastic. You wanna keep the hair dryer close enough but not too close where you're going to burn your plastic now you're going to unfortunately hear some noise so if a hair dryer bothers you please lower your volume um, but what i'm going to start to do is start to form the plastic to the actual um bucket or pail i start by holding it up at the top so i get everything nice and firm and now I'm gonna start with my hair dryer and you'll start to see the packaging shrink. I'm gonna start on low. And I just start by going around the top first. And you can see that I'm not very close to the plastic. Now I've done this a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my dryer up because I know exactly where I need to be temperature wise. And then I kind of suspend my bucket or whatever I'm wrapping in the air. 
I'll turn it, turn it around some. I blow from the top down because I like the shrink wrap to be more on the bottom of the basket. So in a moment you're going to start seeing it get smaller. It really depends on how high you set your dryer and how comfortable you are. Now see, I like to blow mine to the bottom because then it is going to start to shrink and it will shrink towards the bottom of the basket. It usually takes just a couple of minutes, again, depending on how comfortable you are with your dryer, how big your item is. I would say it probably takes longer to do this than it does to fill your basket. But as you can see, it's starting to seal up closer. You don't really want to get it much closer than I am right now, which is about an inch and a half to two inches away. I'm just focusing on getting this done. Because I really don't want to fast forward the camera. So I'm just going to keep drying as it starts to get smaller on the back. Okay, so now you're going to start seeing all that excess plastic start to disappear. See how it's shrinking? So now obviously I have chocolates in there so I don't want to hold that in front of the chocolate for too long. But I try to bring everything down so it fits nice and tight on the basket here. See how as if I hold it, it shrinks real tight? So that's why I keep it nice and taut. And you see what's creating here is we're creating a cellophane seal. I'm going to bring it around to the back and show you here how this will close in and fold right to the basket. I'm going to hold this up. Bring it around one more time. Whoops! Throw it around a little, but they, like I said, I keep it real. Gonna just seal this a little bit tighter. Pull this up a little more. Now, what I want to do is adjust this a little. I want to get my bunny up here so his ears are up here a little bit higher. Okay, and I want that to the side a little bit because I want the bunny to be able to be seen from the side. Because I also have a card that I'm going to attach here. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. You know, a lot of times when you get these baskets in the shop, 
they're beautiful, but there's also 20 pounds of paper in the bottom. And they put all the cute little things right up in the front. So I always thought that sucked. They look real cute, but then there's really nothing in them. So then I'm just gonna pull this so everything shrinks up to the top. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it real, all right. That's okay. The chocolates are, I can fix them. I would say that's a probably about as tight as I want it for Grandpa. And then I'll do a little bit up here, not a lot. Just kind of crisp it up so it stands up straight. Okay. So as far as some of these chocolates go, because they're all loosened around, that's not a big deal. I wanted this off to the side a little bit, so I stiffened this up some. And what I'll do is I'll just trim this a little bit more with my scissors. All right, and then here was that original bow I had in the back. I just kind of loop it around a little bit more. You know, I can cut it again if I want to. And then what I did was I saved one of these bunnies from Walmart. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to put one of these on Grandpa's basket. So what I did was I picked out the yellow pom-pom. And I'm just going to add that. Actually, let me add it through this way instead. So we're going to add this. So the pom-pom swings more to the front. And I thought I had another pom-pom, but maybe not. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is come around this side and tie it to, this, to the back because I wanted the bunny to be kind of over here somewhere. I wanted the bow to end up on one side and the bunny to be on the other. So what I plan on doing is sneaking over to Grandpa's house on Easter Eve and putting this on his door with an Easter lily. And I will then also have a little card that will be there. And bada bing, bada boom, from the Dollar Tree. Not bad, right? I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully you'll let me know what you think down below. I do plan on doing this a different way, but for tonight I wanted to get it done to share with all of you. So let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye for now.